we are going to see about uh, question and answers with related to route guards okay in angular so let's proceed with the questions okay uh, before uh, proceeding with the questions i just would like to explain the application which i will be using for explaining these questions this is my sample uh, angular application which i have okay uh, and since we are going to use guards against routes i have already configured the routes and the guards we are going to use if you see here i have a login page okay the login actually loads a module authentication module lazy uh, in a lazy way okay it loads the in a lazy way and i have a home page inside that home page i have three more components employee list add employee and employee as children's okay you understand you have to understand these so that we can understand gods more uh, properly so we have a home page which adds as a container for these sub routes or sub pages okay if you go to the application so we have uh, we are able to see a login page once we log in we will be moved to home okay the by default the home page just have these two buttons okay if you press on any one of the buttons we go to the employee list which is a child uh, component of home likewise employee add is also a child component of home as we have specified in our routes okay we have a home path home route route inside that we have all these routes as children okay just have this basic knowledge so that we can explain how to guard these routes with the help of uh, angular uh, guards okay so let me move to the first question so how to guard your routes with session if you want to prevent your routes yeah, maybe home or home employee list you want to prevent uh, anyone accessing these routes without a session you want to guard it how you will guard it how can you guard it for that you have to use guards in angular okay this has to be and in that uh, uh, guards are several ways several types in that guards you have to write logic to uh, check whether the session is present if the session is present you go to this you proceed with the page proceed with the route or else move back to login page and how to create gods is it is simple very simple in angular you just put <coughs> ng using uh, i'm trying to generate uh, guard using angular cli you put guard and the type of guard you want okay I will put a, a sample guard or something once you do this it will ask which type of guard you want maybe for a time being i will give this one so it will create that can activate guard for you okay so this is how it is simple to create guards <clears throat> let me uh, explain the type of guards in the next question so you can do this using guards in angular Guards have been uh, implemented to prevent anyone accessing routes. Maybe uh, you write the logic which you want to be present before anyone reaches to your route. Maybe uh, you check whether the session is pre already present or something before he reaches. Else you move back to login page. Ask him to log in to for uh, for uh, for the application to create a session, something like that. So next question is what are the different type of guards we have four types of guard can activate can activate child can deactivate can load can activate is used for anyone going to your route okay this actually uh, guards your complete path okay maybe home page in our case you can put uh, you can use can activate for uh, writing logic so that you can prevent any user from going to a home page can activate child 
is all the child pages maybe in the home we were able to see right if you go to app module.ts you will be able to see the home you have many other uh, routes so if you want to prevent access to these routes you can use can activate child okay can deactivate can be used if you want to do some uh, check confirmation before uh, any user or moves out of your route maybe um, uh, <clears throat> he is entering uh, employee employee details and just moves out of the route uh, to another page you can ask him do you want to save the information something like that you would have seen this in many cases so to prevent unsaved data you can use can deactivate can load can mostly used in case of lazy loader modules where you can do some logic and check whether he we can allow to load the particular lazy loaded module you can write logic maybe a url in is in this way we can allow we can load so can load can be used to prevent the load of a lazy loaded module okay so let's move to the next question how to guard the complete path if you want to uh, <clears throat> anyone accessing the complete path the complete home page you can use can activate guard i have already created a can activate guard uh, this you can see it in guards can activate auth guard.ts okay this file you can see this so you can as i told you you can generate uh, this guard by using in generate and uh, in the can activate right this page will be generated by angular for you and in the can activate method you have to write the logic maybe what i am I have write it is if the local storage has current user if he, uh, the local storage has current user uh, key then allow him to move to this home page allow him to move uh, to the uh, what the page he asked for else you route to login page i have used router uh, module i have uh, asked angular for injecting the router module and using that i am navigating to login page okay so this is the logic i have written so this is the logic we have to write maybe in my application whenever uh, the user logs in i will set this key okay by using whether uh, this key is present in local storage or not i will come to know whether session is present maybe in your case the logic may be different so if you take in this case is logged in so in the application local storage you can find a key called current user so using this key i decide whether the session is present or not now you have added can activate guard how to use that against the home page for that what you have to do is just go there to your home page you just add can activate and within uh, brackets you write the name of the guard it is can activate auth guard right you just add that auth god sorry this is different and you prove okay so <clears throat> now now what will happen is okay uh, now uh, the now if i delete so if i uh, delete this <coughs> key in local storage right then i understand that session is not present if i go try to access the home page again i will move back to the login page i will not be given access because my guard protects it and uh, seeing that local storage is not present that current user key is not present he uh, pushes me to the login page okay this is how can activate is used 
so you have to add that god and you have to add it in the routes app routes okay can activate and then the auth god okay so this is about can activate let's move to the next question How to guard the children path? Okay, uh, you will get a see a small issue here. Okay, I will show you that issue. We'll pass it. How it will create? Uh, okay. <coughs> if I delete it, delete this one, and if I switch between the children, still I am able to access it. You are able to see, but this should not be allowed because. I have removed the key. Though I have removed the key, this is not this route change children route is not protected by the guard yet. But if I uh, access the home page, and it will be guarded, and I will move to the login page. But this children route is not protected yet. If I uh, keep on moving between the children routes. I am not able to get that prote protection from the guard. So, <clears throat> to get that protection, we have to add something called can activate child instead of can activate. Can activate for complete path, but can activate child is for children path. Whenever you want to protect a children, now I want to protect all these children, and uh, when the session is not present, I want to move them to login page. So I will also added this guard, uh, this one activate children guard also. So the, my logic is same here, but the, I have to generate ng generate uh, activate whatever name you want to give uh, ng generate guard and some name, and uh, in that you have to choose this time can activate child. Once you choose that, you will get all this skeleton. In that you want to write this logic. So this logic is same as what I added in auth god. I will check whether the current user is present. If the current user is present, I will return true. Else I will return move to login page and return false. So I have written this and can activate child god. Now I have to add it in my routes. So I will add can activate child. And here I have to put can activate children. Okay. Activate children god. Okay. Once you do this, let's check now whether uh, I am getting an active protection in my children gods. Okay. Now I will delete this. I, I have added can activate child right now. You see, I have added this can activate child. So it should be protecting my child guards. Let us see. Now I switch to another child route. You see, it may moved me to the login page. You see. So that's how can activate child words. Okay. Let's go to the next guard. How to add a confirmation message when the user moves out of the route? We can easily add it by making use of can deactivate guard. Okay. So to generate it, use the same way can ng generate guard any name and when it gives option, this time you choose a deactivate guard. Okay. So I have already created a deactivate guard. So this is how we have to create a deactivate guard. Okay. This would be created by uh, Angular for you. Here we have to add. Uh, here it is little bit different. We have to say can component deactivate. Okay, and you also need to add an interface. So uh, this deactivate, right? I have written for a generalized component. I have said that all the components will have deactivate method. All the components which have deactivate method can make use of this deactivate guard that's what i am saying okay so i have uh, else if you are writing to a component specific deactivate guard you can 
mention the component name also here instead of the interface okay so what uh, logic i have not written any great logic here i have uh, it has a can deactivate method i am just printing the deactivate got called so that i can show you so here you can have any confirmation message to prevent uh, any users to prevent uh, yeah, you can show a alert saying uh, saying that you have some unsafe changes do you really want to proceed or something like that and uh, other thing i do here is if the component has a deactivate method you call the component deactivate else return true that's what i'm saying okay so if you uh, if i want to add this deactivate to any of my modules what i will do is what uh, if i want to add it in employee list what i will do i will just add i'll just delete so that i can show you can deactivate just add this and within brackets you just mention that guard so uh, i'm saying whenever the employee moves out of this employee list route you should activate this guard should be called so that uh, it can show any alert messages but right now i'm not showing anything i'm just consoling it and in this employee list component also i have added a deactivate uh, method if you see here employee list component i have added a deactivate component this also will be called because this component has a deactivate method this will be called okay so let us check that so i am right now in employee list when i move to employee add route you should be able to see the both the words deactivate guard which is getting called from the deactivate guard this one and the component deactivate call it is from coming from this employee list so you can do any component specific uh, alerts or something like that or you can if you have a generalized uh, <clears throat> alert you can show it here so other thing i told you is here you can also write if you want to add a route for yeah specific specific component that also can be done okay then right? that also you can do but you have to give a at least yeah, yeah, at least a simple interface for this to work because it will not work because it will ask for a some uh, yeah type can deactivate what is that type for that i will use this simple interface which simply says that it will have a deactivate method okay so this is about deactivate guard so this you would have seen in many places where they show a confirmation whenever they move out of this route one route to another route okay and uh, the last one how to block the loading of a lazy loaded component because a lazy loaded component gets loaded only when the person goes the user goes to a specific route and only when that route is loaded that entire module is loaded that module may be a big module which may take time so to <coughs> understand whether this user has that authorization or uh, he has the proper user to access that module you can make a small check so that uh, if he is not uh, if is not the uh, correct authenticated user we, we can prevent loading of that such a big module in can load god itself no need to uh, load for that uh, load that module for the user because and it is not also correct for show, to show him the module maybe uh, in the in the uh, that module code to him also that is also wrong right when he is not authenticated so that can be done using can load god can load also can be generated in the similar way you ng generate guard and any name and you say on load guard i also created on load guard okay maybe if you go to the guards you will find a on load guard so here i am not added it inside god dot gods so this is the lord god 
okay it will all implement all this and inside the on load you have to write the logic how whether you want to if it return false it will stop the loading of the module if it is written true it will load the module so i have just made a console log here i have added this to just to explain you okay to show that the load is load the god is getting loaded okay this is about the guard okay and for adding it into your app module to your application you have to add it to the app modules route maybe for me this login is authentication login which is present in authentication module login module which is present in authentication module this is a lazy loaded module so i want to prevent it based on a condition i want to load it based on a condition so for that what i will do is you just need to put can load and here put load guard okay so <coughs> Now I have added the load guard. So this load guard will just simply print load guard is called. So let's see whether that is getting printed. So if I access the login page, you can see that load guard is getting called. And since I return true, it is loading the authentication module, which you can see it here. Okay. So if I say return false, right here the module will not be loaded. You can see this. See the module is not loaded because we return false. So here also you can't see that authentication module. So we are not able to see that page template page okay this is how we, uh, we can easily block the loading of a lazy loaded component